top of the fact that you won't even let me film freely, you wouldn't give me food to eat. Like, make it make sense. Hi guys, hello, how's everybody doing? Welcome to the month of November. Anywho guys, we are going for our first ever restaurant review for the month of November. I'm super excited. I'm currently heading to Arabesque. Arabesque, Arabesque is a Moroccan, Moroccan themed restaurant here in Lagos, Nigeria. I'm going to be reviewing the place. I'm meeting up with another YouTuber. Uh, she reached out to me for a collab and some other things so I just want to kind of meet with her so that we can have a conversation about like the next steps for her YouTube growth kind of like a consultation <laughs> I just finished filming a YouTube video and taking some pictures for Instagram that's why I have a face full of makeup but I'm about to clean up this lipstick so I want to kind of just blend down my makeup because I feel like like I said I just finished filming a sit down video and my face just look kind of caked so I want to kind of blend it out so that I don't look ridiculous okay um, this is my outfit let me show you guys I'm wearing this graphic t-shirt this oversized pants it's actually my dad's I really love that I'm going in with my Dolce and Gabbana and then I'm going to top it off with Zara. Somebody actually commented that I use a lot of perfume. And I'm just like, did I ask? I'm going to tell you guys about the food, the ambience, every shebang that you're interested in. So stay tuned. Let's go. My driver is ready waiting as always. So let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm excited. This is where you really can you really use can use and sometimes it's your around. your phone to charge you. Yes, it's yes. Sometimes your the vision of your phone is clearer. It's clearer at night.
funny enough, the 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 food isn't expensive. Let's have the soup first. The we have, have the soup first. <laughs> <laughs> so I ordered for the soup of the day, which is what did you even say the soup of the day? Was creamy and chicken soup. How so, did you even remember? It's actually creamy and chicken you soup. See, yeah. You see, you see, my brain. <laughs> It's wisdom. <laughs> <laughs> so let me have the soup of the day first. I'll let you guys know. But yeah, so far so good. The ambience is, is given, okay? Like even if you want to come and take pictures, just come for just the ambience. Can I see I'm relaxing like it's my father's house. Oh yeah, come, let's be <laughs> You're getting too comfortable for the toilet. I guess the best vlogging camera is 2021. Like if you want to vlog, I also use it to make my sit-down videos too, so I don't know. Yeah, it works for me for two of them. But some people have separate camera. One for sit-down, one for vlogging when you're moving around. For me, I use one for everything it works. Before, when I started, I was using my phone for everything. I was using an iPhone 10 then, and I mean, that's even when I had more subscribers. So now that I have camera, so... <laughs> so for me, it's like even for and then editing was easier because now I now edit with my laptop. It now looks like a chore. A chore. It now looks like a chore. Like it's quite stressful. They said we can't vlog here. Also said they don't have food. But I'll give you guys more juice when we get home. Here he is. So subscribe to her channel, guys. I'm trying to get to 1K by the end of the year. <laughs> So I just got back home from Arabesque. I really hope I pronounced this restaurant well. Arabesque restaurant, guys. Hmm. I have a lot to say. I have a lot to say, okay. First of all, I'm hungry if because they didn't give me food. First off, this place is not camera friendly, so you're not allowed to video or snap or use your phone or do all of that. Thankfully, I was able to do all the videos before the manager or supervisor or someone walked up to me to say oh videos are not allowed by the management and it was actually quite funny because the waiter said oh okay first off let me rewind the waiter said you can I came in making a video so the waiter came to me and said you can only make a video after you've ordered for something I'm just like huh like why would I even come here if I didn't plan to order anything but that's by the way so I was like okay cool I decided to order something and after ordering I could not make my video so the waiter was cool with it so I made videos of the, like, the whole place, the restroom, everywhere it was so nice and after a while when I finally settled down I sat down the supervisor, the management or someone came up to me to say oh this is not allowed, you can't make videos I'm like okay but the waiter said it was okay after I had ordered and I just ordered so he was like yeah it's not allowed, it's not allowed I mean like very unfriendly, very rude he was just frowning, he was like it's not allowed, it's not allowed, it's not allowed so we're like oh sorry you no verse but i mean we've made our videos at that point we were like okay so he left so i just want you guys to know that if you plan to go to this place to take videos or something just pray that the professor is not around because the waiters were okay with it but the management is not okay with it so just know that this place is not picture friendly it's not video friendly so don't make videos in quotes okay um i still don't understand the whole i don't understand the psych behind not making videos at a restaurant like i'm giving you free publicity like you're not even paying me i'm giving you publicity i'm getting customers to come to your restaurant you should be paying me for that exposure rather you're saying i cannot make a video okay anyways now to the reason why i didn't eat anything or i wasn't given any meal in this restaurant i'm gonna get into it so i ordered for the soup of today because I couldn't decide okay I'm not from Morocco I've never visited Morocco before so the menu was like okay what am I supposed to take I asked the waiter to recommend something for me and he he wasn't really quite sure on what to recommend so I was like okay you know what I saw the soup of the day so they have like a soup of the day and I was like great let me have the soup of the day instead great way to see what's I mean for it to be the soup of the day it's probably like very tasty and they want to make it for everybody so I was like okay let me this would be a great thing to try so I ordered for the soup of the day after about 20, 20 minutes-ish, the waiter comes back to tell me that oh, the chef says that the soup of the day is stale and they wouldn't want to serve something that is stale. So here I am after waiting for 20 minutes, I'm like, okay, 
I was really looking forward to my soup though and they said the soup was the cream cream chicken soup I think that's what it was called so they were like yeah the chef said he can't serve stale food and first of all it's, it's about five six ish in the pms so I'm wondering why your food is already stale at about five six uh, okay I'm not going to even argue that <laughs> but yeah so I'm already wondering my mind like why is your food already stale by five six I'm like okay but I really applaud them for not bringing me stale food and just telling me right off the bat so I mean I really applaud them for that but trust me stay with me okay this story is long <laughs> so I'm like okay let me order something else because I'm determined to eat something here yeah, I really want to know what you guys what the vibe is like so I finally ordered some so they have um, so they have some food that are cold I think it's served cold or something like that and then they have the ones that are freshly oven baked like their pastries are freshly oven baked and like the cold ones I don't I don't really know how they caption this on the menu but basically there's the cold ones the ones that are served cold and the ones that are served freshly oven baked so I'm like okay let me get the freshly oven baked one and the waiter goes again after like another couple of minutes he comes back again to say oh um we can't turn off our oven now um, there's no freshly baked available because we can't turn on our oven now <sighs> at this point I'm already like okay you put no one to give me soup of the day because your soup is still now you can't turn on your oven mind you it's like 5 6 p.m. so if you can't turn on your oven now when do you plan to turn it on I don't understand like this is a weekday people are gonna come here in the evening time because that's when work closes I'm here after work I'm trying to eat something and one excuse after the other so at that point i'm already like fed up like okay obviously you guys don't want to feed me you don't want to give me anything to eat because what, what is going on so um we already spent like so much time already there i was done with my meeting already it just made no sense to order something else anymore because i was like okay they're gonna come back with another excuse again so yeah it was just a lot you know it was just a lot um i felt really sad that i wasn't able to eat, eat anything but i had a drink i had the arabesque mocktail that was phenomenal i really enjoyed it and guys it was really really cheap like i don't even know where in lagos they're still selling mocktail for two five like two five the mocktail i mean that's the cheapest mocktail i've seen so far and it was really nice it was like a very nice blend of watermelon type smoothie type mocktail it was really really nice i enjoyed my mocktail nevertheless um in terms of like the price the price point was very very average like it wasn't over the top it was just like very average so you guys can clearly see from the video the ambience is a1 the aesthetics the vibes is given like it's really giving very middle eastern vibes so you can see like the pictures woo, the the views the trees the architecture everything was really really amazing not many restrooms in lagos are big enough conducive picturesque but this one was everything and more i mean you guys saw the clip i couldn't even get myself out of the toilet i was so comfortable there it looked super nice very comfortable very unique the pictures everything ah it was really nice anyways after this my long story now what do we want to rate them i don't know i'm gonna rate them a five I mean food and drinks together because I really like the drink but as you guys have heard I wasn't able to eat they didn't give me food um, they didn't let me vlog you know I was just uncomfortable the whole time you know and also it's like an open space they do have an indoor area but like mostly it's an open space so there's usually like mosquitoes flies and all of that so also quite uncomfortable as well so I don't know I don't know for the food I mean you guys you heard my story for the drink it's just a five okay for the food the service the drink five to be honest five they just kept coming back with bad news and i was just like okay okay like okay you know anyways that brings us to the end of this restaurant review if you guys want to see me review more places in lagos because that's where i currently live right now please let me know please let me know the places you'd like me to go in the comment section and i'll be more than happy to go check this out for you let you know if this is worth your money if it's worth your time so that you don't have to go and splurge and spend money on places that you don't like i'm here for you to do the doing things so do make sure you let me know in the comment section don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up comment your favorite part of this video do you think you'll be visiting this place be honest like be honest okay and make sure you like this video i'll see you guys in my next video bye